Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC coming at you live on this beautiful Tuesday morning. I hope that this day has found you healthy and strong and in a good place and blessed. Good morning, Denise. Glad you're on here. I'm sure there will be others who will be jumping on here soon. I'm a little bit later than I normally like to do this, but I'm working from home today and taking care of some things that need to be taken care of. And, you know, one of the things that I do is prepare the announcements, the newsletters, the bulletin for our church. Good morning, Sharon. How are you? And as I've been working on that over the last couple of days, I've realized how blessed our church is and how blessed I am as a pastor. Not just because of the events that we are doing, not just because of uh, the, the things that are happening in our church, the good things that are taking place and the, the strong undergrowth current that I see happening of people's lives being developed, discipled. But I got to thinking about how we are blessed, how we are so blessed because of people in the church, people in our church family. And I was speaking to someone yesterday and, and uh, you know, thoughts just came to my mind. There are so many people in our congregation to whom honor and respect is due. And the Word of God tells us in Romans chapter 13 and verse 7 to render unto everyone those things to which they are due. If it's tribute, give them tribute. And if it's honor, give them honor. Can I take just a moment of your time and tell you that here at Crossroads, we have some of the most amazing church family and some of the most incredible volunteers we have people in our congregation who have heard the dreams and the vision of this pastor, not just the words I've said, but have heard the heart behind them. And they are grabbing those things and running full force with those things. I'd like to take a moment and give honor to everyone in our congregation who is a part of the vision and the dreams that God is doing. So many things that the Lord is starting. And you know, I just want to take a moment, and I'm not going to call out certain individuals, but I do just want to take a moment and say thank you to our youth pastor and his wife, Pastor Jason and Danny Lim, in the, all of the work that you have done, in, not just in what we're going to be doing in February with Night to Shine, but many of you don't know that um, this, this gentleman, Pastor Jason Wright, and his wife, Danny Lim Wright, were part of my youth ministry in the land. And Danny Lynn was one of my youth group members. Jason was one of my youth workers. And uh, uh, after, after Melinda and I left the church in Deland and came here to Titusville to pastor, uh, Jason and Danny went to Lee, Lee University, and um, they, they worked hard, got degrees. And when they were finished there, they felt like the Lord was leading them here to Titusville to work with us here in our church. Now, this is unprecedented, and I, I want to give them honor, and I want to give them kudos, because I have watched this young couple not only raise a family, not only love God, but I have watched them serve our congregation tirelessly. And I, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of this pastor's heart. You don't know how much I love you and appreciate you for all that you do. The things that you do that are up front that everybody sees and the things that you do that are behind the scenes that nobody sees and nobody ever knows about. I see them. I notice them. I hear them. And I say thank you. You have partnered with Melinda and I over the years through good times and bad times. I just want to give honor to you and bless you today. And not, not just Pastor Jason and Danny, but so many others in our congregation. Those that have been there a long time, those that are new, thank you for your commitment to the Lord and serving God here at Crossroads. Thank you for buying into the vision that God has given us. And as your pastor, I am so grateful and I feel so blessed where God has us right now because I truly believe that God has positioned our church and positioned our people for a place of greatness 
and for a place of stretching us and enlarging us. And I can't wait to see all the things that God is going to do in our church this year. But not just those of you who are tied into our church, working hard behind the scenes and in front, but even those who are diligently praying for our church and praying over this pastor and the ministries of our church. We have some intercessors that are part of our church and that are connected from our church to our church from without. We have some intercessors all over the world and all over the city that are praying for our church. And I want to honor you today. Thank you for that. From the bottom of this pastor's heart, thank you to all of you who faithfully show up on Sundays and Wednesdays, and Wednesday nights and Wednesday mornings, to all of you who faithfully give and sow into the ministry here, to all of you who have volunteer positions, for all of you who are working on upgrading the church and redoing rooms like we're doing in the nursery right now. Some of you have come and worked behind the scenes. I'm just, my mind is just blown at how good God is and how God is using our people in the ministries that he has placed before us. And church, I tell you, this is our year of increase. This is our year of harvest. This is our year where God is going to answer those prayers prayers of revival for which we have been praying. And so I want to just take this moment as your pastor and say thank you. Thank you for the prayers you've prayed. Thank you for the countless hours that you have served and you have ministered and you have reached out. Thank you for the times that you've prepared meals for the sick and you've visited and you've made phone calls and done text messages Thank you for all of the times that you have given gifts. Thank you for the moments that you have come to me and said, Pastor, I know you're under a heavy burden and I just want you to know I'm praying for you. You don't know what that does to this pastor's heart. Are we where we want to be at Crossroads? No. But can I tell you that with the, the dream team that God has placed here in our midst at Crossroads right now, we have the potential to go further and do more than we've ever done before. So thank you, and I give you honor. And I honor you today in the name of Jesus Christ as a servant of the Lord and as a minister in his kingdom. God bless you, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you for those of you who watch these little snippets of my sometimes random thoughts. <laughs> I love you, and I appreciate you. May God bless you today. May you walk in honor and anointing. God bless you. Take care.